This is Pastor Crypto checking in with a quick video. Well, this might not be quick. This is a tutorial on Spooky Swap, how to bridge over assets from the Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum to the Phantom Network through Spooky Swap, and how to create an LP, how to add that LP to a pool, how to withdraw the LP from a pool, and how to break your LP. So let's get it. So first and foremost, this is the homepage for Spooky Swap. Spooky Swap is an exchange like uh, Pancake Swap, Ape Swap on Binance Smart Chain, or any other swap service like Uni and Sushi on Ethereum. So this is where you need to go. You go down to the tab that says Bridge, it's at the bottom. Click on Bridge, and then you bridge over your assets. So I don't have any assets on Ethereum, but I do have some on Binance Smart Chain. So you click that, and then it's Binance Smart Chain to Phantom. Then you select the token. So you can only use BNB or Beefy. So on Binance Smart Chain, I do have BNB in my wallet. So I'm going to switch over some BNB. So I select BNB, and I got 0.28 BNB. So the minimum that I can bridge over is 0 0.044 so that's what I'm going to bridge over 0 0.044 then you just select bridge token now mind you your wallet already has to be on a uh, Binance Smart Chain to be able to do this so you can see right here in the top right corner it lets you know that it's pending. So Ethereum assets, you have to wrap the Ethereum first, but a pop-up window will show up, and then you just select wrap ETH, and then it follow the instructions. But on Binance Smart Chain, all you have to do is just convert over BNB to the Phantom Network. So after a while, it's going to go through. So there is an issue with doing it this way. You still need Phantom to be able to swap between BNB to get Phantom for gas. You need Phantom in your wallet for gas. So, an easier way to get Phantom in your wallet, well, not the easiest way, but the way I did it, which is less, less steps than the other way, is go to an exchange, a centralized exchange like Binance, and we'll go to the where it's buy the token from, the Phantom token from the centralized exchange. And then where it says network, as long as you have the option to switch it over to the Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum if you have Ethereum, send it through one of these two ways, depending on how you have your wallet configured. So the way I did it, I configured it for Binance Smart Chain. Then I selected, selected that. And then I entered the address that I was sending it to, which was this address right here. My Binance Smart Chain address. So I clicked and copied that. And then I just paste that in here. I did exactly like that. And then after a couple minutes, you will have the Phantom in your wallet. Now this is also assuming that you already have your wallet configured for the Phantom blockchain. Once I had the Phantom in my wallet, I just went to Spooky Swap and made the exchange. So that was the way I did it. I went to a centralized exchange, bought some Phantom, and then use the network the proper network which was the binance smart chain network because i had my binance smart chain wallet already configured on metamask now if you had ethereum you have to have it on ethereum blockchain and then use the ethereum bridge i mean not the bridge but ethereum wallet send it that way but i use binance smart chain that's the way i did it it was pretty simple to do it that way. Then from there, 
you just go over here and you swap your tokens for what you want. So the bridge has went through. So now I have the BNB in my wallet. So now you go to swap. Got to change my wallet back. So now you go to swap and then you just swap for the tokens that you want. Let me refresh this. And it's pretty simple. So the swap coming up. Now I just got to wait till the website reads my wallet. As you can see, it pops up. There go my BNB. So I got BNB in my wallet. And then I'm going to swap it for what I want. Right? So to decide what you want, you go down to the farm. Now we're going to go over how to add an LP. I always click on the APRs and then I look at this because this tells you a breakdown of what fees you're going to earn and how much you're going to earn from the farm. So I'm going to use the uh, USDC Phantom because the APR is pretty decent. So I need USDC and Phantom. So I go to the swap and then I swap my BNB. Half of it is going to go to USDC. And the other half is going to go to Phantom. So this tells me to break down. You can adjust your slippage right here in the middle. And when you see this red notifications, that's usually because your slippage is too low. So now I'm going to swap. Now this takes a little time. But it's not that long because Phantom Blockchain is pretty fast. So that's one of the tokens I'm swapping for. Transaction about to go through as soon as this line ends. Bam, it's already there. Look how fast that was. And it's very cheap. Now the next token I need is Phantom. So click on Phantom. Then I'm supply the other half to Phantom. Then I'm going to swap my Phantom. Same way. Because you need 50% on each side of the transaction. Now eventually there's going to be a little receipt come up here. Let you know the transaction is processing. So now from there, this is what you do. You go to liquidity. You go to liquidity. And then you pick your token pair that you want to create an LP for. So mine was... USDC and Phantom. So I'm click I'm gonna select the max and then it tabulates the other max for the other pair. And once again you can uh, adjust the slippage here if you get a red notification because the slippage is too low. Then I hit supply. And this is how you create an LP. It's very simple. If you get lost in any of these steps, you can just rewind the video to the part that helps you out. So once this goes through, I go to the, to the farm. Go to the farm and then I add liquidity for that farm because I just created an LP token for it. So this is my farm right here. Approved stake. Now once this goes through, LP should go through. And then from there, you'll be earning rewards after the stake goes through. Now I hit stake, because it says stake. Then I hit the max. Now it shows me the max I can stake. Then I hit confirm. Confirm through the wallet address. Then from there, boom. Transaction up here says it's going through. It already hit. And down here, it's going to show you how much boo you're going to earn. Then you got a plus stake to add more. You got a harvest button to get your re boo rewards. And you can unstake. So now let's unstake. I'm going to hit the max. Hit confirm. Then confirm it through my wallet. So okay. 
Then I wait for the receipt to come up here, which it did, because Phantom was super fast. Then once this happened, now I have to go to liquidity to break my LP. Then from here, you go to my potions. Then it should be able to pull it up. That's it right there. USDC Phantom, select that. And then you collect, you select withdraw. Then you want to withdraw the percentage that you want from that LP. I'm going to click all. Once again, you can adjust the slippage if you get a failed transaction. And this is a breakdown of what I'll receive. Then you hit approve. Then you sign the wallet transaction. And after a while, the transaction will go through. Let me see if it's pending. Let me hit it again. Just to make sure. Okay, so that's that. There you go. I'm removing 21.8 USDC and 39.7 Phantom. Now the funds is in my wallet because it says no liquidity found. So now I can go back to the swap service and you will see my USDC, which is right here. And you can see my Phantom, it was, this is right here. So I went through how to bridge over your assets to Phantom. I went through how to buy Phantom from a centralized exchange and send it to your Binance Smart Chain wallet. I showed you how to create an LP, how to add that LP to a pool, how to withdraw that LP from a pool, and how to break your LP. Now, I hope this helps out everybody that needed help. And this is your boy, Passive Crypto. Peace. I'm out.